Dr. Jaffe, can you thoroughly explain the differences between adenosyl cobalamin versus hydroxycobalamin forms of B12? There's so many research articles that show that maybe adenosyl cobalamin is preferable. Um, can you please explain? Well, the companies that want to sell a different form of B12 will fund studies that try to show the benefit of their form, adenosyl. What's the reality? Nature's form of B12 is hydroxylcobalamin. It comes in active and ready to help. Adenosylcobalamin must be de-adenosylated de by the liver to hydroxylcobalamin, which becomes the active form when you give adenosyl. Um, in terms of solubility or bioavailability, they're both quite bioavailable. So there's no problem getting hydroxocobalamin into the body. So I understand vogue. I understand fashion. I think adenosylcobalamin is in vogue. It's different. It has some virtues, but not more than, in fact, less than. Nature's form, which is hydroxocobalamin, which is what we always use and what we recommend. 